Hi, today's lesson is on the kilometre. Some people say kilometre and some people say kilometre. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter how you pronounce it. So far, we have measured things in centimetres and metres. Here is a black line on your screen that I have ruled at one centimetre. But remember, because of different screen sizes on different computers, the measurements may not be to scale. That means that this one centimetre line may measure at slightly less than one centimetre or slightly more than one centimetre on your screen. Here I have measured 10 centimetres and once again that measurement may not be exactly to scale. Most rulers that we use around the home and at school are 30 centimetres in length. Do you have a 30 centimetre ruler? And 100 centimetres equals 1 metre. And if this piece of string was stretched out straight, it would be approximately 1 metre or 100 centimetres in length. If you made a long line of three 30 centimetre rulers by putting them end to end, you would make 90 centimetres altogether, which is just 10 centimetres short of 1 metre. 100 centimetres or 1 metre is approximately the width of a single bed and approximately the height of most tables. What if we wanted to measure things that were really long? Well, we know how far we run for a 100 metre running race or how long a 50 metre swimming pool is. That's quite a big swimming pool, a 50 metre swimming pool, isn't it? A football field is about 100 metres long, so we would need 100 one metre pieces of string and put them all together end to end to cover the length of this football field. What about if we wanted to know how far from my house to my friend's house in the next suburb, about 4,000 metres away? That's a bit hard to imagine or picture, isn't it? What about from Sydney to Brisbane? I wonder how many metres that would be away. It's 1,020,000 metres from Sydney to Brisbane. Can you picture 1,020,000 pieces of one metre string? I can't. It's very hard to imagine that many metres, isn't it? And what if we wanted to know how far it was from one country to another country on the other side of the world? Let's use Sydney to London, for example. How many metres would that be? That would be a number far too big to deal with. So, just like when we make 100 centimetres into 1 metre, because the prefix cent means 100, well, the prefix kilo means 1,000. So, every 1,000 metres, we call 1 kilometre. That means a 1,000 metres, a kilometre or a kilometre. You can pronounce it kilometre or kilometre. Okay, so remember that kilo means thousand, just like cent means hundred. You might hear people talking about 1K instead of 1,000. 1K is often used when we are talking about money. You may hear people say, I earned 1K. And that means they earned $1,000. So one kilometre can be abbreviated like this, 1km. 
and it means 1,000 metres. Have a close look at that. What's the abbreviation for kilometre? KM. So if you run the 100 metre race 10 times, we have 100 times 10. Whenever we times anything by 10, we put a zero on the end. So 100 times 10 is 1,000. So 100 metres for a 100 metre race times 10 equals 1,000 metres or one kilometre. So if you ran the 100 metre race 10 times, you would be really running one kilometre. If you took one really big step, almost jumping, that would be about one metre. Remember the width of your bed. So if you took a thousand of those big, almost jumping steps, that would be one kilometre.